Hey science lovers, it's Becky with Lab Rat Academy and I've lived with this ice plant for all of my life and I found out that I can make jam out of these flowers. That's right, after they go to fruit, which are these flowers right here that go to fruit, I can actually make jam out of these. They're also known as hot and tot figs or sour figs and they originally come from South Africa, but I'm going to harvest these today. I'm gonna to collect like a big bowl full and we're going to trim these down to the inside where the fruit is and we're gonna make that into jam. So let's start harvesting. As I pull these off, I can actually smell the fragrance of them. They smell so good. I'm excited to see what these taste like. As I pull them off, also I can feel that they're soft to the touch. If they're not as ripe, they're gonna be hard and green. But you can... All right, so as you can see, I've grabbed a huge bowl of these because I'm trying to get to two cups of the inner fruit of inside of these because we don't want to grab the leaves on these. We want to trim all those off. So let's go inside and let's trim these right. up. So I'm inside now, I'm at my dinner table and I have a huge bowl of the fruit of the ice plant. And now we get to trim off the outside of these fruit. So I'm going to trim off as much as I can on the outside so that all that is left is the seedy part of the inside. This, the riper ones are actually quite slimy. They're not the ones that are more brownish. You can actually peel off the outside a lot easier. Just cut off the top. This one's really ripe. Look at that. All right, so I've done about 25 of these sour figs and it's filled up about a cup. So I'm gonna need to do another 25 of these. After you have collected about two cups of the ice plant fruit, you're gonna cut them up into smaller pieces, press them down to make sure that there's two cups and then you're gonna put it into a pot that we're gonna put on the stove. Okay, so now I have my sugar. This is my two cups of sugar. I'm gonna pour that on there. This is also part of the preservative. I also have a half a cup of water that I'm gonna pour on there. And I'm also going to use natural pectin, which is on the skins of citrus fruits. Now this lemon is from my lemon tree and it actually has like several inches of rind on it. So I'm going to take the rind off and I'm going to get the white part of my lemon and use that pectin. Now you can probably use any kind of other pectin that you want to be able to do this. You can use the stuff from the store, the powder. But I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of these chunks of pectin, the white of my lemon to use as pectin. One additional ingredient just to give it a fun flavor is a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, now we're gonna go to the stove and we're gonna simmer this on medium heat. I have now simmered this for 30 minutes and I'm gonna take the the lemon out of here. That was my pectin for this experiment. I'm gonna pour these into some mason jars. Looks like two jars was enough. And to get a good seal on the top, you want to clean the top. Nice and clean. Have my mason jar lids and that have been boiling on the stove in hot water to give a good seal. And I like to label them. Hot and thought figs, 2022. So that was it. I made my hot and tot sour fig ice plant jam. And here's some of the scrapings from the inside of the pot. 
and wow, it's a fascinating flavor. Something I'm not used to, but it actually tastes really good. I guess if you add sugar to anything, <laughs> it will taste good. I hope you guys learned something amazing. Leave a post, leave a note. See if you can make it yourself. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Share some love, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.